Hello, Internet. Today I'm going to be walking you through a workshop to 3D print your own customized bottle opener. Uh, to start, after you've downloaded Fusion 360, we're going to go ahead and create a sketch on the bottom plane. Um, we need to make it about 35 millimeters in diameter. And I'm going to put a line down here at the bottom. I right click to use the shortcuts menu just across, and this is going to be where we put the penny that we use to open it. Um, and I'm going to dimension this 6.5 millimeters from the center, again using the right-click shortcut menu. When I'm done, I hit Stop Sketch, and then I'm going to use a press pull on the bottom section of that. And I'm going to do it symmetrically about the origin, uh, roughly 2 millimeters up, so it'll be 4 millimeters wide in total. Uh, quick fit screen so that you can see it. Now I'm going to start Sculpt. Uh, sculpt is pretty awesome. It's the T-spine environment. I'm going to use the uh, Extrude tool here. I need to turn on my sketch again to be able to use that circle that we drew earlier. And once I get there, I'm going to go ahead and do another symmetrical extrude about two millimeters in. And I put some notes up here for you to follow. Um, and uh, next I need to thicken it to take it from a surface body into a solid body. So I'm going to do about five millimeters in thicken. And here you don't have to do sharp. You can do uh, soft. It gets a nice rounder edge, but it can be a little bit harder to print. Here are some more uh, helpful tips and tricks. Feel free to pause. Next up, I'm actually going to do a quick little... Uh, sculpt show you what it is and I'm just going to extend this out to give my thumb a little bit more room here so select the sides that I want and you'll notice I don't have symmetry on here it's one of the few times that I don't want to use it because it'll make 3d printing easier I'm just going to extend that a couple of millimeters and then I'm going to do a quick scaling on this center line make it kind of a cool shape and uh, when I'm done I'll click OK and hit finish form I expect you guys to come up with some much more imaginative designs uh, next, I need to actually combine these bodies so that I can do a cut for the penny. So I just click the two bodies after going to combine. And now I need to sketch out the slot to insert my penny into. So I'll click the front face of the penny holder that we drew earlier. And then I'm going to do a center rectangle around the origin. It's going to be about 1.85 millimeters in height and about 20 millimeters in length. When I'm done, I hit enter and click, and there we go. So I'm going to stop that, and I'm going to go ahead and do another press pull. But this time, instead of an extrude, I'm actually going to do a cut into the body. I'm going to do about 15 millimeters in length, and that looks good. And I'm going to make sure here for a sec that I cut through both bodies, which was the point of combining them earlier. So I turn on shaded with hidden edges, and yeah, that looks good. So cool. I'm going to come back here and do turn that off, make it easier to see. I'm going to turn off the sketch, too. That'll make life easier. Uh, next, I'm going to show you how to throw some text on there. Uh, come up with something cool and funny. Um, always wanted my nickname to be B Dog, so uh, I want to go ahead and throw that out there. I'll type that in, and you got to be careful with text in 3D printing. If you make it too small, it's not going to print very well. So even five millimeters is too small, but I'm just going to throw that on there. Um, and when I'm done, I will click OK. Uh, stop this sketch, and I'm going to do another press pull up. Let's say about a millimeter. Okay, cool. That looks good. All right, make sure that it's a join, so that way all the bodies are together. And all right, it's looking pretty good. Uh, the last thing I need to do is put a hole so that I can put it on a keychain. So I will select the top of the surface. Um, after getting to the whole menu, and I'm going to move it just a bit, but first I need to make sure my diameter is right. And since I know my keychain is about 5 millimeters at the very end, I need to make sure that it's pretty close to the end and my body isn't too thick. Um, I'd have to do some finagling with the hole if I needed to do fix that. So, cool. All right. Uh, when I'm done there, uh, it's looking pretty good. I'm going to go ahead and save it. So I will jump into the save menu here. Let's see. All right, so I'm going to put it in the San Diego Workshop Project, and I'm going to put it in the Completed Design folder, and I'm just going to use my first name and last name and make life a lot easier. Cool. Hit Save, and the last thing I'm going to do is I'm going to make a beautiful image of it. Just switch over to the render environment real quick. 
There we go. And uh, I'm going to click on appearance and uh, choose a material. So, uh, of course, we're making it out of plastic. So, I don't know, I check out wood. All right, cool. So, let's drag and drop oak straight onto the body. And then when I release, it covers it in oak, and that's awesome. And I can play around with the uh, the angle and the camera, or I can just go ahead and do a ray tracing. Ugh, it always starts on advanced. Cool. I'm just going to do a normal, um, and it starts to do some iterations. And after, yeah, in a minute, it'll look really cool. But I like the way it looks now, so I can go ahead and just, just click the Save Image button and type in a name, and there we go. I've got a beautiful image that I can share with the world. Um, 3d print the file all right that's everything uh, i'd love to see what you guys can come up with feel free to send them my way uh thanks for watching see you next time